Hello there, and welcome to tonight's video. Now, as I'm shooting this, the lighting, the light is getting quite dim. It's um, less than an hour, well, half, less than half an hour until it gets dark. I'd like to talk about a um, bit of sad news I'm sure everyone's heard by now. Um, one of the members of the group Girls Aloud, who I am a fan of, I know they split up and all that, but I've got a, a couple of concerts by them on Blu ray and some DVD ones as well. Sarah Harden uh, sadly passed away a couple of days ago, and I'm not even sure if it made the national news. If it did, I didn't see because I've been watching the TV, but I didn't hear it on the radio either. I did hear it yesterday, but it wasn't on the news. It was on Pride Radio, on the um, celebrity gossip news on one of the shows in the afternoon. But uh, I don't think it was on the main news, but if anyone knows otherwise, can you let us know? Was it on the TV news, like BBC, ITV, Channel 4, anything? Because, um, like I say, I don't really watch the TV at the minute, so I don't know. I could check uh, YouTube later to see if there's any, anyone's uploaded any clips from the news around the world if it was mentioned. <clears throat> but <clears throat> apparently, she, she had, um, apparently she had breast cancer. I didn't even know that. And she was only diagnosed like a year ago. So I, was, uh, I wasn't too pleased to hear about that. I had no idea she was ill or anything, you know. And uh, also, I used to watch this TV show called um, Dating in the Dark. And she presented that show for a while. Oh, yeah. That's the water. It's like a prickly uh, bush down here. Can you see it? Um, this, oh, shit. I did it again. I did it again. Don't be crazy. Anyway, I thought it could have been worse. It could have been like a nettle bush or something, but it wasn't. <coughs> so, um, yep. So, yeah, that was sad news. Um, she was only 39, apparently. And now she's uh, passed away. Um, so, so um, yep. So, I'll, I'm going to check, like I say, to find out if that was on the news or not anywhere in the world. But I'll check that later. Now, I've just arrived at this little uh, pathway through the trees here. I'm at the same place I was uh, on my last video. Which is... Uh, what used to be the slag heap here in heaven and it's a lot nicer these days with all the scenery and everything you could be forgiven for thinking you're out in the country somewhere but of course it gives it away when you look over there and there's like houses so but if you just look over here and go over this end there's not really any houses on display unless you go over the far side type of thing but I'm gonna um, I'm gonna head through here now <clears throat> I'm gonna get as much footage as I can before it gets dark but I do have a night vision camera with us as well in case I decide to shoot anything in the dark <clears throat> just so I can see not for anything else just so I can see me and everything else around here oh damn the screen's gone off son of a bitch <clears throat> I just wanna change that setting but going off now I just got a, a message to a question for my friend Nell if you're watching Nell uh, remember that comment you made on my last video about the seats uh, you didn't think it would be a good place to put seats down here well I just wrote you a quick reply I didn't have time to ask you what you meant but um, I was thinking what did, like, what did you mean by this wouldn't be a good spot for seats because you said something about it would affect the upkeep of the land or something. Uh, I, I don't know what you meant because um, I can only assume you meant maybe if uh, like the, the council or whatever want to cut the grass, it may be difficult to do that with the seats in the way or something. But 
they can just work around the seats can't they because when they when they put these seats in place the they put the the, um, the seat into some concrete and uh, and there's still be grass around the outside of the seat sort of thing so um I wouldn't say it would be any sort of problem unless I'm missing the point entirely unless you meant something else completely different as to why it would affect the upkeep of the land around here uh, apart from that I'm not even sure what you meant can you possibly explain that what you meant about how this wouldn't be a good spot for the seats and stuff and there's some people up there doing something I don't know what they're doing on top of the bank sounded like they're having fun with some more over there as well um, I'm surprised there's so many people down here actually um, at this time of night it's nearly 8 o'clock like I say in the evening so um, yeah but this is a good place if you like to climb up banks I'm not a biggest fan of climbing banks this steep to be honest with you but um, and I bet this, this isn't look, looking so great in this lighting down here because the sun's well on its way down now I'll tell you that much uh, I'm just going to head over, over here again um, I don't even remember what was what was around this area like exactly what was where around this how it looked years ago I just know there was um, like lots of um, like stones and dusty sort of grey rubble everywhere that's all I remember when I was a kid Actually, there was this, um, actually, hold that thought for a minute. Right, as I was about to say, years ago, when I was a kid, uh, me and my friend, actually, my friend, friend's name was Dean Carlisle, so I don't know if anyone knows him or remembers him, but I used to go to school with him. I think it was him, actually. I think it was. Actually, it might not have been. I think it was, but it might not have been. Anyway, he used to be mad on Star Wars, remember it? Valley View School, and he, I always used to be envious of him because he had um, these Star Wars tops, like sweatshirt things with a hood on, and it had like an excellent like photograph on the front. I think he was pretty rich. Like he always had, he had every single Star Wars top going, you know, with uh, like a like a photograph from the movie and the logo of the film on the front. He had like red ones, black ones, green ones, yellow ones, you name it. He had everything. So I could never find out where to get the bloody things. I don't know if I asked him or not, I forget. Anyway, I think it was me and him. Might have been somebody else. Anyway, me and him were going across here on a um, sort of like afternoon, late evening. It wasn't dark yet. Somewhere, somewhere probably around this time. And uh, we both had um, homemade Spider-Man costumes on. Underneath our clothes. And uh, mine was uh, made with um, red and blue material, obviously. But it was skin tight and everything. Just like the photo one. But the webs, the webbing, the webbing on the suit was drawn on with like felt tip, but it mustn't have been waterproof felt tip, uh, because what happened was we'd been walking a while and it's kind of be Spider-Man and stuff, and I think we took our clothes off and like jumped around here for a while as Spider-Man, <laughs> and then on the way back home we got dressed up again and everything. We passed, um, I think it was the Elmfield Social Club. And uh, we went in there, there's some toilets on the way in, in through the front door. And so we needed a drink, we needed a drink drastically, we were parched, dying of thirst basically. So we um, went in there and this guy came in the toilet. I forget, he said something, and then he goes here, and he's like splashing the water on us, like from the sink. And it went all over me clothes, around the front of me shirt and everything. But when I got back home, and I took the clothes off and looked at the Spider-Man costume underneath, all the ring, all the ink was like all like like um, coming off and smudging and black stuff everywhere. It was all ruined because of the water. Well, it wasn't wasn't water resistant, so it it was all messed up, covered in black splodges and everything. So I always remember that, you know, and that happened when we were operating around this area when it used to be the actual Sly Keep. Tend to be Spider Man because we were really keen on the TV series Spider Man which starred Nicholas Hammond. I really used to like that show a lot. And um, I, I wish they had released it um, officially on DVD, but they never did. And Stan Lee, the guy in charge of Marvel, the guy behind it all, the creator of Spider-Man, I believe he was, I think. Anyway, he 
he um, didn't like that TV series and he, he, he didn't allow it to get released on DVD or anything. Uh, but now that he's passed away, sadly, I'm hoping that it might get released by somebody at some point, but probably not, knowing my luck. Uh, there was an unofficial version or a few of them, like bootleg copies on eBay, but I don't think you can get them anymore. I did buy one, but I think I've lost it. When I moved, moved house, I think it got chucked, because we didn't have time to get everything out of the house in time before it was going to get uh, taken over by the people who own it and stuff. You know, the people, you know, uh, I think it was South Tyneside Homes, I believe. So that was that anyway. Anyway, that was a pity. I know what I mean. And I think that the DVDs were taken from VHS, so it wasn't the best anyway, but it was better than nothing, so I would say. Yep, those were the days. Right, I'm just taking a, a walk around here. Um, it will be dark very soon. But like I say, I do have night vision with me, not on this camera, but another one, if I need it. So, I think some of the uh, movie Southern Comfort was shot down here, you know, with Keith Carradine, or Carradine, and uh, Powers Booth. Incidentally, Powers Booth um, sadly passed away. He was in uh, the film U-Turn as well, with Nick Nolte and Sean Penn and Jennifer Lopez as well um so that was sad news that was a while ago though he was also in that jean-claude van damme film called sudden death i think it's called where in the ice hockey stadium thing and um so um as i was saying southern comfort was filmed down here i'm just kidding of course cause i'm just saying that because it reminded us with all the trees and everything they're running through the trees and all that. I don't know if you've seen that film, but it's an excellent film. Southern Comfort. I'll tell you that much. Uh, I'm guessing it doesn't look so great on the screen here. The screen's gone off, so I can't see, but... Because um, the lighting's a bit dim now, shall we say. That is for sure. Now, some of you, some of you that watch my channel... Uh, now and again or whatever you might have seen that I did a few videos at the Heaven Health Center and um, some of them in the dark like paranormal investigations and um, I was down there the other night in the dark because they've changed how you get into the the sort of like grounds outside the place to go into the if you're going to the doctors or wherever you go they've uh, changed the way you go into the place because it was all fenced off and they were doing like building new houses next to it and they still are but they've changed the way you go in you now have to go in a different entrance from the street from Tunnel Pot Road and um, basically you come in at the other side of the health centre instead of straight in front of the front door of it but uh, what I noticed was is um, some of those houses that they were building that they are still building now have people living in them already I was a bit surprised they're in there already the, the ones next to the road, some of them had the lights on, but it didn't look like anyone was in them ones. So I don't know if anyone actually is living in them ones. But when I went to walk into the where the health centre is, uh, the houses right in front of it definitely appear to have people in it in them because there's cars parked in front of the houses. And I saw some slight lights on, like but they had the curtains shut so it was hard to see, but... So I just found that a bit strange that there's houses actually right in front of the health centre. Like, handy if that's your doctor, you step out the door and you're practically at your doctor's type of thing. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like, it's just weird. The houses is like right next to the doctor's place, you know? And plus, if I was ever to do any more, any any video down there or anything in the dark or paranormal investigation or anything, it's now a bit um, awkward. I, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you can just walk in there. It's just a street. It's not private or anything. It doesn't say keep out or you'll be prosecuted or anything. But uh, the thing is, if I'm walking around with a camera and someone comes out of the house or something, they might say, oh, what the hell are you doing? I say, well, I'm just making a video for YouTube. Uh, you know, all right. I don't know. I might get a shotgun out and <laughs> want to shoot us or something. You never know. You never know. So, but the lighting is getting pretty, pretty bad now, like, I must admit. And then these, this camera isn't supposed to be very good in um, low light. 
because I watched several reviews for this camera and the other one I got and uh, they said it wasn't the best in low lighting so I better wrap this up in a minute then well as you can see um, it's nearly dark uh, but this is a huge field here as you can see and there's quite a lot of trees surrounding it a lot of people um, well most people in fact that live where I live take their dogs for a walk around here every person you see around here is partly a person with a dog or two dogs and whenever I sit on a seat around here there's always dogs comes up and like sniffs us or jumps on me on me knee or something um, before I was uh, given some burning sandwich to a little dog that came along he was pissed on the living daylight out of us basically <laughs> okay then I'm gonna wrap this little video up for tonight um, I hope you've enjoyed some of it at least. Um, it's probably going to be another Top of the Flops edition, uh, judging, judging by uh, last night's performance for the for the video I did yesterday. But whatever, I'm still going to make little uh, videos here and there, try the best that I can. Um, so I'd just like to thank everyone for watching this video, and uh, please uh, leave a comment if you've got anything you want to tell me or ask me, or anything, anything you like, and I will get back to you, that is my promise. Okay, so don't forget to give this a little like if you did enjoy some of it or even a fraction of it. And um, also if you've got any stories relating to this area that I might not know about, like stuff that's happened over, over the years or something, something interesting or you think might, might be of interest to me, let us know. I'll be very interested to hear about it. And uh, right, so um, don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more videos coming from me in the future. And, uh, well, that's pretty much it. Uh, so I'm going to say good night for now, and I'll see you all next time. So, hurrah now. See you later. Hurrah. <laughs>